formulating the rule in finding the nth term. Let's start the lesson with the definition of sequence. A sequence is a well-defined mathematical term. It is a list of terms or numbers arranged in a definite order. Example is 5, 7, 9, 11, a missing number, and so on is a sequence. In this sequence, there are numbers or terms. 5 is the first term. 7 is the second term. 9 is the third term. 11 is the fourth term. A missing number is the fifth term, and so on as the nth term. This means letter N represents a term or number. And these terms show its value. The value of the term is represented by A sub 1, which is equivalent to 5 for the first term. A sub 2 with a value of 7 for the second term. A sub 3, which has the value of 9. A sub 4, with the value of 11. A sub 5, for the value of fifth term, which is still missing. And so on, represented by A sub N. Going back to the sequence, if you will look at the terms in this sequence, you would see that the terms are increasing. From the first term, which is 5, we add 2 to get the second term, which is 7. Then 7 to 9, we add 2 again. From 9, we add to get 11. This means that the common difference of the terms is 2. And this common difference is represented by the small letter D. To solve the problems of number in a sequence, you need first to find the rule being followed in the sequence. To find out the rule, you need to see the first few numbers in the series. Example, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, which we call also as finite sequence. It is a sequence with starting point and stopping point. On the other hand, 15, 18, 21, 24, and so on is known as infinite sequence, which means that a sequence goes on having those three dots at the end. Let's study the first example on how to formulate the rule and find the nth term. Here we have 5, 7, 9, 11, followed by two missing terms and so on. As you can see, the terms are increasing, beginning with the first term 5 to 7, then 9 to 11, which means that the next missing terms must be higher than the others. With this, we could say that from 5, we need to add 2 to get 7. Then from 7, we need to add 2 again to get 9. Then from 9, add 2 again to get 11. Following this pattern, we can conclude that if we add 2 to 11 and add 2 again, we can get the next two missing terms. The common difference, as you can see in the sequence, is 2. So with this, we could say that the rule adding 2 to the previous term will give the next term. So if we are to follow this, after 11 is 13 and then 15. Have you ever wondered what if we are to get a term which is far from the list of terms like the 10th term? Listing the terms until you get there is not sensible since it will take you a lot of time and effort to do it. 
formulating a formula in finding the n term is the best possible way. Going back with the first example, you need to get first the common difference of the terms. And the common difference here is 2. Next step is to multiply the difference, which is 2, by the first term. So you have a sub 1 equals 2 times 1 equals 2, wherein 2 is the difference and 1 is the number or term. Take note that the product is 2. In our sequence, the value or a sub 1 of the first term must be 5, which means you need to add 3 to get the value of the first term, which is 5. So product of 2 plus 3 equals 5, which is the same as the value that we have in the first term of sequence. To get the value of the second term, which is 7, multiply the common difference, which is 2, by the second term so that it would be a sub 2 equals 2 times 2 equals 4. Take note that in the sequence, the value of the second term must be 7. And so you need to add 3 again to the product 4 to get 7. To get the value 9 for the third term, multiply the difference 2 by the third term so that it would be a sub 3 equals 2 times 3 equals 6. Take note that in the sequence, third term must have the value of 9. So you will add again 3 to the product 6 to get 9. And finally, to get 11 as the value of the fourth term in the sequence, multiply the difference by the fourth term. So that would be a sub 4 equals 2 times 4 equals 8. Take note that in the sequence, the fourth term must be 11. And so you will add 3 again to get 11. Looking at these numbers, we can say that to get the value or any number or term in a sequence, just multiply the common difference by the term and add 3. More scientifically, we can write the rule as a sub n equals d times n or dn plus 3. Following this rule, to get the fifth term, multiply the difference 2 by 5 or fifth term and add 3 to the product. So a sub 5 equals 2 times 5 equals 10 plus 3 equals 13. And so the fifth term is 13. And for the sixth term, Multiply the common difference 2 by 6 or 6 term and add 3. So a sub 6 equals 2 times 6 equals 12 plus 3 equals 15. So the missing number is 15. Finally, for the value of the 10th term, multiply the common difference 2 by 10 or 10th term and add 3. So that would be a sub 10 equals 2 times 10 equals 20 plus 3 equals 23. So the 10th term is 23. Example 2, 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on up to 100 term. What do you think is the 100th term in this sequence? To find the rule in finding the n term, find first the common difference of the terms starting with 1 to 3, 3 to 5, 5 to 7. You need to add 2 to the previous term in order to get the next term. And this will give you the idea on how you can get the value of 100th term. As what we see here, the common difference of the terms is 2. 
starting with the first term, which is the value of 1, multiply the common difference by 1 or first term so that you will have a sub 1 equals 2 times 1 equals 2. Take note that the product is 2. The first term in the sequence must have only the value of 1. So you will make necessary adjustment by subtracting the product by 1 to get the same value as in the sequence. To get the value of the second term, which is 3, multiply the difference 2 by 2 or second term. So that would be a sub 2 equals 2 times 2 equals 4. Take note that the value of the second term must be 3. So you will adjust the product by subtracting it by 1. The value of the third term is 5. So multiply the difference, which is 2, by 3 or third term so that you will have a sub 3 equals 2 times 3 equals 6. Take note that the value of the third term must be 5. So you will adjust the product 6 by subtracting it by 1. And to get the value 7 for the fourth term, multiply the difference 2 by 4 or fourth term. So a sub 4 equals 2 times 4 equals 8. Take note that the value of the fourth term in the sequence must be 7. So you will subtract 1 from the product 8. With this, we can formulate the formula that the rule in finding the nth term is to multiply the common difference by the term and subtract 1. Writing the rule scientifically, it would be a sub n equals d times n or dn minus 1. So following the rule to get the 100th term, multiply the common difference 2 by 100 or 100th term, then subtract 1. So a sub 100 equals 2 times 100 equals 200 minus 1 equals 199. So the 100th term in this sequence is 199. What if the missing terms in a sequence is found in the first few parts of the sequence? How will you get the missing terms? Example 3. First three terms are missing followed by 27, 32, 37, 42. Here you will use the working backward strategy, wherein you will start at the end going to the beginning. So that is from 42 to 37, 37 to 32, 32 to 27, then 27 to the next terms. Notice that from the end going to the next terms, the terms are decreasing by 5. Therefore, the common difference of the terms is 5. With this working backward strategy, we can say the rule that subtracting 5 from the term on the right side will get you the next term on the left side of it. So the missing terms after 27 are 22, 17, and 12. Let's try. What is the 50th term in a sequence 4, 6, 8, 10, and so on? What is the rule for a sequence? The sequence is 4, 6, 8, 10 up to the 50th term. We can see that terms are increasing by 2. And so the common difference is 2. To find the value of each term, multiply the difference by the term 
and adjust the product to get the value listed in the sequence. So for the first term, it's a sub 1 equals 2 times 1 equals 2 plus 2 equals 4. For the second term, it's a sub 2 equals 2 times 2 equals 4 plus 2 equals 6. For third term, it's a sub 3 equals 2 times 3 equals 6 plus 2 equals 8. And for the fourth term, it's a sub 4 equals 2 times 4 equals 8 plus 2 equals 10. So multiplying the difference by the term and adding 2 to adjust the value, the rule will be a sub n equals d times n or dn plus 2. Following the rule to get the 50th term is a sub 50 equals 2 times 50 equals 100 plus 2 equals 102. So the 50th term is 102. Let's try. What is the missing terms in the sequence? Three blanks for the missing terms, then 20, 24, 28. What is the rule for a sequence? Applying the working backward strategy, we can see that terms are decreasing by four. Following this, the rest must be the same also. So therefore, the common difference of the terms is 4. With this, we can say the rule that subtracting 4 from the term on the right side will get the next term on the left side of it. So the missing terms after 20 are 16, 12, and 8.